What is this place? What am I doing? <laughs> We're going to change my oil. I just found a uh, a channel. I don't know what you would call this in, in Bulgarian. It's a channel where I can just go underneath the car and not deal with jacking up. Even though it's slightly jacked up, so the car is more level. But yeah. So we're going to be changing the oil in whatever this place is. You can see there is an abandoned Moskvich, Soviet Moskvich. So yes, it's quite quite the ordeal. I'm going to be doing a full full service for the car, and we're going to be changing the the Fox GT for a Ravenel VST, which is a slightly more higher quality brand of oil. You can see the Titan GT3 Flex. Uh, I wanted to go for the Ravenol RCS, which is probably the best oil you can put on an E46, but uh, it's quite expensive. And this is my third oil change for the year, so I uh, I didn't want to spend too much money, but I still wanted to get something good, pretty clean underneath. In here, F funnily enough, quite clean. I'm guessing a lot of people use this place. Because it smells like oil. So, uh, let's get to work. <laughs> let's get to working in this weird ass place next to this vintage ass Moskvich. I bought this thing for the oil cap, uh, for the oil filter housing. This is much better than a wrench, so we don't damage the oil filter housing. But I had to buy a adapter as well. So, by the way, I'm not, obviously I'm changing my oil here in the shrubs in the forest in the whatever the fuck we are right now next to the Moskvich we're not at our unanimous garage so uh, quite lucky find to actually get these things so we're starting off with the oil filter housing so the oil from the oil filter drains down into the oil pan By the way, I've got my official BMW merch, my official BMW mechanic uh, jersey. This is where we're going to be extracting the oil into. At least I'm going to actually see how the oil looks. This is slightly dirty, but it's still, you know, we can tell if the oil is okay or not. I feel absolutely ridiculous doing this here next to the mosque. This thing is apparently quite rare. To actually, you know, for E46 is to still have these, so yeah, we of course start with this, which I didn't expect to be a rare option. Not option, a rare existence. So it appears we lost the footage, but here we are. I somehow managed to do this with just slight damage to my uh, arm, slight oil damage. There's quite a bit of oil, not quite a bit, a slight amount of oil on, on the wall thing. So you can see it's uh, going quite well. We successfully removed the oil oil plug. It was quite a struggle. I don't know what happened. We lost the footage, but okay, the plug is still here, which is very important because if we need to go and look for the plug in there, it's not going to be fun at all. And this is quite sophisticated. I need to pre-lubricate the oil ring. I'm going to be using this. This is just in case oil that I have in my car. There we go. Oil, oil filter. It looks perfect, honestly. There's barely any kind of even disintegration of the filter. It was Mali, so we, we've gone with Mali again. There we go. Pre lube. Oh. Oh. Wait, I'll lose it. Okay. Almost lost the new one. The new o-ring. Okay. 
Now I need to be careful, last time I kind of fucked everything up. Because we're professional, we're going to be using a new t a torque wrench. And that's 25 according to this, but it's good to clean this off so we can check later if it's leaking oil from here. So let's go back underneath the car. The old crush washer thing is in perfect condition. You can barely, you know, you can barely see the difference between these two, but I'm obviously going to change the new one. Let's move the old oil out of the way. Time to torque it down. Clean the oil drain plug now. Reinstall the rare little thing here. It's time to do the oil pouring itself. I've got two 5 litre bottles, so the car takes 6.5 litres. I wouldn't be surprised if there's half a litre left of oil, oil, oil in the car, so we're going to be checking by the dipstick, but first, this is very useful. With the, with the little inbuilt funnel, Thank you, Ravenol. We're done with the shady oil change. Let's see if the car starts now, though. The engine is definitely quieter. Nice. 